tasks of a spy include intelligence collection, surveillance, assassination, and protection. Intelligence collection requires careful observation, while surveillance requires attentive eyes and ears. I understand. The other tasks require strong martial skills. You are a woman and an inexperienced fighter. I'm worried about how well you can do. Don't worry, my lord. I have trust in you. I'm sure that with the help of your training, I'll become an outstanding spy someday. You're ambitious. That is actually good, but ambition without skill is a certain path to failure. I understand. Waiting for me? My lord, I only just arrived. May I ask when you will begin my training? In the past two days, you've learned some basic skills. But that's far from enough. In order to become an excellent spy, you need real-life experience. Are you saying that you'll assign me on a mission? This mission will be very difficult. Don't worry, my lord. I understand. You've been training me to turn me into a tool or a weapon. One that you can put to use whenever you need it. Earlier, you fought a spy in the Sky Eye. Do you remember what your opponent that day looked like? Mm -hmm. I want you to follow her, follow her carefully, and gather information. Can you do that? <laughs> It'll be a piece of cake. And it's a good opportunity to improve my skills. If you complete this task successfully, then I will train you as an assassin. The Sky Eye has spent years developing this eavesdropping device, the hearing metal. There's also a flying device, the Bamboo Butterfly. Of course there is. And not just weapons. Sorcery, intelligence of all kinds, maps of estates and powerful devices. If you have the money, there's nothing you cannot buy. Who is he? Zuo Bao Fan. Sorcery. Intelligence of all kinds. Maps of estates and powerful devices. If I can find this man, I could get into the Pavilion of Bliss without being seen by anyone.
Huh? Who allowed you to follow me here? <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn the two of you. That's an unbreakable boulder. It weighs a thousand kilos. No matter how strong you are, there's no way you'll be able to move it. Save your strength. Are you working with them? Certainly not. I'm not with those people. I'd say that's pretty obvious, don't you think? They clearly wanted you to go to my shop and used you as bait to make him come so they could trap him. Actually, I am the real victim here. What on earth did I ever do to you people? It, it was such a beautiful afternoon. I was taking a nap in my own shop when a bunch of women stormed in and started breaking everything I owned. I barely escaped with my life. And now I have to spend my last moments of life down here with you foolish lovers. I don't deserve hey, this. What are you talking about? Look carefully. I am a slave. He is my master. Huh? What? Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. It's my fault. He's just your friend. No, your master. A master. And you're a slave. It's so kind of your master. He's willing to come all this way and die in this cave for you. He must be the kindest man in the world. I'm in awe, really. Is there any other exit from this cave? No. <sighs> this is where I store my money and treasures, as well as my best weapons. Hey, listen! Would you build a back door into the treasure hoard of your own house? Why would you install an unbreakable door here? These are my treasures! For a rich man like me, a defensive door like that makes perfect sense! But now your door has not just failed, it has locked you inside for good, right? How dare you talk like that! Have you no shame? Were it not for you two, I wouldn't be in here! I would never willingly be locked in this place! What do you mean by that? You said you'd never met those women before. How did they know their door was unbreakable? Eh. <laughs> I am a man, you know. A man of romance. You should know. Surely you. <laughs> that, that peach leaf. You've both seen what she's like. She's kind of good looking. A few years ago, she was a frequent customer of mine, so we kind Dirty of... Dirty old man. Why would you tell her about something so important? You deserve to be trapped in here. Well, it's none of your business, is it? I'm better than him. He didn't even know how you feel about him, and still he sacrificed himself for you. What, you? Whoopsie. <laughs> Closely. 
back and be quiet. Where are we going? You're very annoying. Who's annoying? You are. I should have known. You spies are always bad news. How do you know we're spies? <laughs> you're carrying the Shan Hong sword, which means you're a member of the Sky Eye. His sword is the Po Ye. The swords you carry, they're a pair, right? And still you say that you're not a couple. I was trying not to be too straightforward. Now you forced me. Are you happy? See how awkward this is? What's more, the girl who came into my shop first carried the sword Chi Yu. So that would make her Zhong Yu. The one who came later, wielding a sword called Tian Ying Shui Shu. She also moved very elegantly. Unless I'm mistaken, she would be one of the masters of the Liang Spy Agency. <laughs> so you recognize people by their weapons, not by their faces. How can you be so sure that your judgment is right? There are two things in this world that I am never ever wrong about. One would be weapons, and the other is the woman I'm facing. <laughs> You're just bragging. <laughs> Come, come. Here we are. Ah. Woo! <laughs> ah. Finally, we're here. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Come out, all of you. Come out! Come to me. My little babies, did you miss me? Look around, you two. Do feel at home. Ah. Come here, money bags. Eh, money bags. Ah. What's the matter with you? Why won't you eat while I'm away? Look at you, you've lost so much weight. Silly thing. Come, come, come. Have some food. Hey, hey, tasty, isn't it? Look how cute they are. Very well, very well. If you're done, go back to your houses. Ah. Oh, look, they're so cute. Aren't they the cutest? Don't you think they're lovely little things? Yep. Taking a nap I was, when disaster suddenly struck. And I very nearly lost my life. Hey! <sighs> hey! What are you doing? I'm taking a nap! We're trapped in a cave, how can you be so at ease? You should help us get out of here! Why won't you listen to what I say? How many times must I tell you? There is no exit! Come on, what's the rush? You need to learn to use your brain. He's an important man. There will be people coming to our rescue. Don't worry. His people will come for us soon enough. They'll get all of us out of here. Okay? I have some good news to share with you two. I've got loads of rice here, as well as cooking oil, salt, and pork. Enough to keep all of us alive for six months. <laughs> Hey, hey, isn't that good news? <laughs> I'm going to get some sleep. You help yourselves. I sleep like a log. <sighs> the Poye sword can only be held by the master of the sky eye. This means that he is an important son of the UN family. But he risked his life 
to come here and save you, a slave. <laughs> what a hopeless man. I think the UN family is just getting weaker and weaker. Be quiet! My lord? What? Don't you want to find a way out? They spared no effort in getting us into this place. There must be a reason. He told us. There's no exit. Do you trust him? It's not about trust. Look how soundly he sleeps. He's not at all worried that we'll steal his treasure. This means that he's confident that we won't get out. We can force him to tell us. Look around. Can you see any food in here? There are many passages in this cave. We could easily get lost. If we use force on him, and he refuses to talk or share his food with us, then we won't last for three days. So we'll stay here and wait? What else can we do? 